Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your boy Nick Che. I'm kind of exhausted because I've literally been filming videos all day, but I'm pumping out this content for you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I make a bunch of different videos about college, lifestyle, fashion, photography, and film. If any of that sounds interesting, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, go follow me on Instagram. I've been pumping out tons of new content for you guys, so check me out over there. My handle is at Nicholas Che. But today we are doing a popular series on this channel, and that is my February favorites. Now, February is a little bit of a shorter month, so I haven't had tons of new stuff. So we're switching it up a little bit, and I'm going to be talking about my favorite books, TV shows, movies, and anything else I really enjoyed throughout this past month. Now number one, starting off with movies, with the Oscars right around the corner, there are dozens of great films out right now. To be honest, I haven't had a ton of time to watch the Oscar nominated films, but I have enjoyed a bunch of different movies over the past few weeks. Number one is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Now if you haven't seen that movie, that is an absolute must. It is incredibly well animated, the graphics are insane, the storyline is amazing, the soundtrack is awesome, so that's honestly been one of my favorite movies and might make my top five movies of all time just because I really think that the graphics took it to another level so if you haven't checked it out make sure to go watch it especially while it's in theaters because it is a completely different experience to watch at AMC versus on your laptop at home. Number two if you have been on Netflix lately obviously there has been a ton of hype over the Fire Festival. Now I've happened to watch both the Netflix and the Hulu documentaries and let me tell you that that was insane like I had no idea that really any of that happened and to see the story of how Billy well fuck Billy we don't like Billy was able to you know not do all of that and still be just a terrible person is like kind of mind-blowing so if you have no idea what I'm talking about I highly recommend checking it out just because I think that the documentary style is really intriguing and interesting and keeps you entertained and honestly like once you watch the trailer you're going to be absolutely hooked I've also recently started the Ted Bundy tapes which I think are super interesting now obviously there's a little bit of controversy over you know portraying Ted Bundy as this like romanticized like great guy blah, blah like fuck Ted Bundy too but anyways I'm only on episode two so if you've seen it before let me know your thoughts down below now, now, obviously this is a few months back but banner snatch and bird box in december and january those were absolutely crazy movies if you haven't seen those either please get on your netflix game and watch those because banner snatch absolutely blew my mind like the concept that we're able to interact with the show and, and really like choose the destiny of, of how the characters end up was just an, a, a crazy concept as a filmmaker and i can't even imagine how many takes and, and edits i had to go through to get to the final product so huge kudos to the black mirror team that was honestly amazing number two books this semester and this year especially i've been trying to make it more of a habit for me to get into reading more just because i used to love to do it when i was a kid and coming to college you do lose the time to enjoy reading especially in your free time just because you have so much other stuff that you need to be reading for your classes now this is the book that i have been reading lately it's obviously right next to my bed because i try and read for at least like 20 to 30 minutes before i go to sleep but obviously based on the cover and the graphics it's basically an in-depth analysis of facebook google amazon and apple four of the biggest companies and honestly all companies that i use on a day-to-day -day basis so it's really intriguing and interesting to learn about how these businesses came to be you know learning about their stories you know which business is going to be the biggest business of all time and seeing how they all coincide with each other is you know super intriguing especially as an economics major and an entrepreneurship minor like those two hand in hand along with this book is you know giving me a lot of insight and so if you're interested in any of that then this is honestly a great start now this was a book that I've actually read a couple months ago but I'm bringing it back just because I'm mentioning books right now and it is Gary Vaynerchuk's crushing it if you are at all looking to be some kind of influencer looking to scale your businesses or just being an entrepreneur in general then Gary Vaynerchuk is the guy to do it you know when I first found out about him and read this book I was like holy shit there's someone out there that actually knows what I'm trying to do with YouTube and, and social media and, and there's a strategy for all that like honestly this book was kind of life-changing for me to realize that like there are strategies and ways to go about you know being an influencer yeah it's called crushing it it basically dives into Instagram snapchat Facebook Twitter music YouTube everything that goes into building a great personal brand um, Gary does a great job of explaining that also so I highly recommend checking that out if any of that sounds interesting now February was an amazing month for music now obviously I'm a huge music fan like how can anyone not be but let's just talk about Ariana Grande's thing you next because that album was a bop every single song was so good seven rings break up with your girlfriend on board needy nasa like top four songs on the album ariana absolutely killed it i actually just bought her merch because that sweatshirt was honestly too fire so i copped that i'm waiting for it to come in so number one if you haven't listened to that album well, how could you not it's literally trending on top 10 like for the past week so go listen to it honestly like it was life-changing number two drake's mixtape so far gone finally came to streaming services now as much as of a drake fan as i am i hate to say it but i had never heard the entire mixtape i had only heard a few songs so when that came out on spotify with like 25 songs i literally had my headphones on for three to four hours listening to the entire thing and 
it honestly like that was that was a big moment for me like imagine listening to your favorite artist mixtape like 10 years later it was crazy so go listen to that if you haven't khalid's new song talk might be like one of the best songs of the year already because as much as i love khalid and his type of music like this is something completely different and he absolutely destroyed that song sunflower by post malone and sway lee which has been dominating the charts and once again was on the soundtrack for spider-man into the spider-verse that song is a bop now there's a remix that i actually used in my winter outfits lookbook video but it's a remix of sunflower and happier and that might be like one of my favorite songs of all time right now on to some fashion stuff i've been in a habit of trying to save more money but when i went to urban outfitters the other day and saw this shirt that i'm wearing right now i couldn't resist and i had to cop now this style of shirt has been very trendy over the past few months and in this color scheme is honestly like such a vibe so i'm rocking it right now with my daniel wellington watch and my accessories from rose gold and black so i don't know if this particular shirt is going to be online or anything but you know if you see these around in your favorite stores then i highly recommend picking one up now i've mentioned this before but i am trying to up my cologne and fragrance game so shout out to the people over at scentbird for sending me over some products now, if you have no idea what scentbird is it's basically a subscription service that sends you two to three different designer brand colognes straight to your door for a monthly fee now this month i've received a few different products and their most recent addition is the caswell maxi lx48 i've also got black bold kenneth cole and Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men. Now, the great thing about these colognes is the vial that it comes in. So they're very portable, meaning that you can throw it in your backpack, you can throw it in your duffel bag, and you have multiple options anytime you go. It also means you don't have to pay upwards of $80 to $100 to receive an entire bottle of fragrance that you may not end up liking after a few months. So having these vials of cologne are a perfect way to try out a new scent before you actually end up buying one. Now, if you are interested in Scentbird, I will have them linked down below. They are honestly a great subscription service if you are a college student and looking to get into the cologne and fragrance game. Once again, they have dozens of name brands and they're constantly working to add new collections so make sure to check them out down below now this is a piece i actually bought a couple weeks ago but it is my ovo sweater this is drake's brand october's very own this is a black hoodie and to be honest it was a little bit pricey but i'm glad i finally picked one up because i've been eyeing these bad boys for a while the quality is super premium it honestly is one of my favorite hoodies right now so now finally moving on to some tech the people over at doc case actually sent over this product and i've been trying it out over the past few days and honestly it is pretty cool basically what it does is it takes your native macbook charger and allows you so many different ports where you can plug in hdmi usb another usb-c cable the great thing about this is it lightens your docking burden without draining power from your macbook pro there are three different ways you can use it like i mentioned you can use it as a multi-port charger a dock or a powering dock meaning that it can also charge your macbook pro as well they have different versions for the MacBook Pro 13 and 15 inch and also an HD version. So the one I have is the HD version for the MacBook Pro 15 inch. But honestly, like having multiple ports, especially if you're on the go trying to charge your phone, tablet, camera batteries, all of that within one dock is super handy. So if you're interested in checking this product out, I will also have it down below. It's great for anyone who's always on the go and needs some kind of portable, efficient way to dock their MacBook. Now, finally, some miscellaneous things. I wasn't sure if I wanted to include it, but I've been using this for a while now and it is the pomade I use to style my hair. I get tons of different questions asking about how I style my hair and this is honestly what i use most of the day the great thing about it is that it's got great hold meaning that i can put in a little amount and it will last me throughout the day right now it's late at night so you know my hair is falling a little bit but it smells great it's a great matte finish as well and it's from the people over at hudson and made if you know teaching men's fashion jose zuniga he's the one who created this brand so you know obviously not sponsored or anything but this is what i use on a day-to-day -day basis anyways that about wraps up for this video i hope you guys enjoyed these february favorites let me know down below which one was your favorite item and why subscribe for more videos and as always don't stress finesse